Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to be making a way to swap out your instances for real actors that you can harvest and then update the save file to show accordingly. So here I have two test trees. They are both instances as of right now. If I go up and I click them, they turn into an actor. After five seconds, they're going to illustrate that they are being destroyed and then update the save file. If I click escape and then it loads up and it is actually gone. So this will make sure that you can interact with your foliage and update the save accordingly. Okay, let's get right into it. The first thing we need to do is add a new foliage. I have imported a tree pack from Brushify, so I'm going to be using that. Let's click plus foliage here in foliage mode. Click static mesh foliage and rename it. I'm going to remain, rename mine maple medium because I'm going to be using a medium maple tree. It's just going to, you know, help me remember. Maple medium. That is the name of it. Click it. Select the mesh that you want to use. So I'm going to use maple medium in this test. Scroll down. Same as last time. We need to set no collision to block all or to block your trace response. I'm going to activate it and then paint a single one down. Right? This is going to work as our previous ones. Very simple. Now it's gone because it's saved, you know, as our system dictates that it should. I'm going to place another one there. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to create a parent for this, right? This, uh, this actor that we are trying to spawn in, we need to create a parent for that. So right click in your content drawer. Select Blueprint Class, select Actor, and I'm going to call mine BP Harvest Parent, or PAR for short. I'm going to open that up, dock it, and then we need a couple variables. The first variable being foliage ref. We need a reference to the uh, foliage instance static mesh component that we are removing and that we are replacing ourselves with. This needs to be editable and exposable, and all of these has to be actually. Next variable that we need is the foliage transform ref. Again, expose and spawn, and swap that out for a transform. And then we need a index. That's an integer, editable, and exposed and spawn. I think that's all we need for now. Yeah, so we can just go back to our first person map and head over to our first person character. If I can type, there we go. Over here, we're going to unplug. After remove instances, we're going to unplug that. And then we're going to unplug remove instances, but keeping that nearby. Here, we want to create a new function. So let's do that. I'm going to name mine get mesh and swap. It needs an input of type transform, and we're just going to call it transform. Let's handle the input right away. So let's drag out our function, set it after we set the index, and we need to get the input, uh, the uh, the transform. So get your foliage ref. Out from that, get instance transform. Right. Set that to world space, and plug it in. The index is our index, like so. Once that is done, head back into our new function and let's promote this transform to a local variable. Local transform. In here, what we need to do is, uh, I'm gonna switch on name, basically, right? So let's get our foliage ref get the static mesh and this is why we called our our foliage uh, something that is similar to what we are actually going to do here so out from here you want to uh, get string to string out from the string you want to do a to name and then you want to switch on name you could probably do a switch on string as well but I'm going to use switch on name because it just makes more sense to me. It feels better. 
click on the switch, hide the default pin, and then add a new pin. This pin is going to be named exactly what your static mesh is called. So in my case, that is going to be S Maple Medium. I'm just going to open this content drawer, click F2, and then Control C to copy the name for that. Head back into my first person character and rename that pin. It's now called S Maple Medium. So what do we want to happen when it's an S Maple Medium? Well, we want to spawn actor from class. That actor is our harvest parent. No, that's not our harvest parent. Sorry, we haven't made it yet. Head back into your content drawer, right click your harvest parent, create a child blueprint. I'm going to call mine BP Maple Medium. Right? The class that we want to spawn is the BP Maple Medium, or any, whatever you have in your case, right? The spawn transform is the local transform. We're going to plug it in there as well. We don't, maybe we don't need this. We can probably remake that after we're going to see. But because uh, we already got the transform, right? We, we don't need it again, but let's just do it like this for now. The foliage ref is the foliage ref and the index is the index. Right? So now it's going to spawn the... Uh, tree. Let's just double check that it actually does that. Right, so we actually have no way to tell, right? Um, that's unfortunate. And we probably aren't able to tell because we are not removing the instance. So head back to your first person character and then hook up the remove instance at the back. Let's compile and save that and just double check. Okay, so it's, it's being uh, removed. However, we are not spawning the, the tree. So why is that? Well, we are spawning the tree, actually. We just haven't actually set off the static mesh for it. So let's head over to static mesh, create a new static mesh in components, and then set your, your mesh. So for me, maple medium. Don't touch anything here when it comes to the location or rotation or anything of this tree. You want it to be the uh, same as the other one. So if I go in here now, and now we are going to see, yeah, so you saw, so it got a little bit darker, and that's because, you know, actors handle light differently, I believe, than, uh, than, than foliage. So it is actually gone now, and if I hit play, um, it's here again, because we haven't actually saved anything. So what we want to do is, uh, first of all, let's go back into our get mesh and swap, and then return this, because I do believe that we're done with it. For now, uh, to, to get more, you would just add more pins and then add more. You understand? What we're going to do now is we're actually going to head over into our harvest parent. Right? And, and we're just going to debug this to test. You are going to want to implement this uh, differently. So what I am going to do is at the begin play, I'm going to add a delay. And after a delay, I want to spawn back in the... Uh, I want to swap out the uh, the things again. The uh, what, what's it called? The actor and the instance. So after the delay, I want to add instance. Can't do that there. Let's drag in our foliage ref. Add instance. Again, this needs to be world space. The instance transform. This is where I think though you could just probably just do a a self and then get transform. Right? Like so. And if that is the case, then you don't need that. Anyway, we have added the instance and we are destroying the actor. So after five, uh, five seconds, it's gonna jump back into being an instance again. You can watch the light to see if it works or not. Um, yeah, so, so it's jumping back again. And then we can just keep doing that. Right. What we are going to do is add a uh, another test, because this this is, isn't like in real life world. This is like you go over there, you hit it, and then, oh shit, my axe breaks, and I can't finish the tree, so I'm running away, and then you don't want it to be stuck as a 
blip redactor, right? You want it, want it to revert back to the instance. If you don't, then don't add this. What we're going to do is add another function into our harvest parent, and it's going to be called destroyed. So this is what we want to call when we actually, you know, we actually manage to harvest that tree, or we manage to pick up that bush, and we don't want it to spawn back in again or anything. This is where we want to add our cast to your game instance or my game instance object being get game instance this is what we detached from our previous one by the way out from that you want to get removed indexes and you want to add to it break the structure pin the foliage is our foliage the index is our index then we want to drag out from our game instance and save indexes. Okay, head back into your harvest parent and return after that. In your event graph, we're just going to do another test now where basically it's like a five second delay and then it's being destroyed. So this is like it's going to implement that. Oh, I'm going there. I'm hitting it. Yo, I'm hitting it. I'm hitting it. I'm hitting it. You know, I'm fucking out. I'm hitting it. And then it's harvested and nothing happens. And why is that? Let's figure that out. We haven't actually destroyed the actor. So it is, it is actually working. Uh, if I go in, if I don't plug this in right now and I compile save, and we go back in, it's gone. We just haven't actually destroyed the actor. So we have removed it from the save game so the instance won't spawn again because it's actually harvested, but we haven't destroyed the harvest parent. So let's uh, do a, another test. I'm gonna make a new tree so I don't have to remove the save file, right? Okay, going up, hitting it with my ax, hitting it with the ax, boom, 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 harvested, right? Escape, hit play again. I don't know what the crap happened there. Oh, it was a branch, okay. And it's gone. So now we have, we had a instance, turned into a actor, harvested the actor, and updated the save file with the instance, so the instance don't spawn in, even though it is actually here. So we could actually do a double test of that. Let's go and do this. It's a massive amount, but fuck it. And I am recording, so this is a little bit not fun. I promise they are updating. <laughs> it's just, it, it's taken a little while. Shouldn't have had five seconds. Anyway, as you can see, they are uh, removing, they are being updated as well. If we go in here now and I click play again, they are gone. If there's anything else you wonder, let me know if there's anything else you want me to implement into this uh, little save load system we have here, and I will do my best. Okay, see ya.